Um, hi everyone, my name's Jenny, I work here at The Guardian um, and I'm the tech lead on our content API team. Um, so I just want to spend a few minutes talking to you about how APIs are really essential for web development um, and I'm going to use The Guardian um, as my examples. So just taking um, a step back, this is our desktop site um, and it doesn't use our API so it has to go and fetch all its content from different data source points. So the, green, the circles are supposed to represent where it's had to go and fetch a bit of information. Um, so this is fine for one application but we live in a world where everyone is accessing our content on many different applications so tablets and smartphones are, are our biggest drive. Um, so to get each of the applications to, to run here was, is quite complex um, and to have each of them attempting to recreate the same thing is impractical. So what we've done is we've created an API and an API is a way of effectively building a common layer between our backend systems and the applications <coughs> that want to talk to it. Um, and we have, so here's our example. It's a bit of JSON. It's not very readable, but it's easy for applications to contact it. Um, so this is written in JSON, and we have an open Scala client um, library that many of the applications use to, to get our data. So this represents the same um, article as I've just listed. So with this API, we've been able to build a number of applications. Um, so here are a few that are listed. Um, the great thing about doing this is that these applications, all they have to care about now is the UI um, and how to make a great user experience. Um, a great thing for us is that we have different skill sets within our team. So the top three applications have all been developed in-house, but our API have been able to make accessible to the open world, and so the bottom two are made by third parties um, that we've collaborated with. Um, but it's not just about platforms. So um, with our API, we've been able to talk with other products. So we have a Spotify app, and we're able to pull in the reviews from the Guardian site into, into Spotify. Um, we use it quite heavily in our Twitter feed. So the community editors, um, they often tweet the articles going out, but we also auto-tweet um, articles that we want to be lead content to help drive people to our site. Um, and finally, developers really love it. So we have often have a lot of hack days and developers use it to build new ideas and products. Um, and this is just an example from one of the guys on our team who has built um, an app that tells you how many words are produced in a given day um, on the content uh, from The Guardian and equated it to a book that you can read. Um, so we've made all this accessible to the open world so you can find out more information um, from us. So we have a very basic UI tool uh, which you can access at the top plate. We have a Scala client library, which you can find on GitHub. So if you go to Guardian get, um, on GitHub, you'll be able to find that. And finally, if you have any questions, you can tweet us um, at Guardian Developers. And that's my end.